We are in route to a facility with a 24-year-old male fell from the roof of a two-story building. Right at you for head injury. Driver involved in a motor vehicle accident. 65-year-old male complaining of chest pain. 22-year-old male, multiple DSWs for the abdomen. He's struggling to drain. The paramedic has 1,200 or so hours of training, can start IVs, can give you medication, has a radio to connect to an emergency room. When it's time to go to work, it's all business. They expect you to show up and be professional and solve a problem. When I first started, all I wanted to do was save one life, and it happens quick. This guy climbs into the back of the ambulance, and he's like, if you don't save my friend's life, I'm going to pull out my gun and kill you right now. Their exposure to traumatic death is extraordinary. People are just leaving the industry because of burnout. You're clocking out, and it's like, what the hell just happened? I didn't know how to slow down. I'm not even going to lie. It almost took me out. What held me back from wanting to talk to people is I didn't want to be labeled as broken. We have families. You got to go home, and sometimes that situation isn't the best. Had a horrific vehicle accident and involved a young girl. I don't feel like you ever get rid of those calls. You try not to talk about them. There's a lot of humanity in this job. You're doing it because it's what you're passionate about. It's what you are made to do. It's like a box of chocolates. You yeah, never yeah. know what you're going to get. You, know, you <laughs> respect it. <laughs>